Good afternoon, folks. In this particular video, we're going to be generating some month labels from a date column using DAX. Uh, okay, and more importantly, we're going to be doing this in direct query. So let me show you how it works uh, in, in sort of regular old DAX. I'm going to head over here, and I'm going to twirl this guy open so we can see the whole whole toolbar. So you've got a really simple table here. We've got a date and a sale. And let's say that for each one of these dates, we want to know uh, what month it is, right? And by month, we just mean you know, a text string that has three characters, Jan for January, Feb for February, Mar for March, that kind of thing. Well, that's pretty easy to do in not direct query. So I'm just going to do a new column. You can do this in, uh, in M in Power Query too, but I'll just show it to you in Dex. We're going to call this month label. And you may have done this in Excel before. It's pretty darn simple. We're going to use the format, the format function. Format takes uh, a value or, uh, well, it takes a value. Uh, that can either be a uh, number or a date, and it converts it to text based on the, the formatting string that you pass it. So what's the thing that we're going to convert? Well, we're going to convert uh, date. So I'm going to hit tab, say, all right, we're going to convert date. Uh, well, how do you, you know, what do you want to, how do you want to convert it? Well, it's pretty simple. We're just going to do MMM. If we did uh, four M's, it would be the full name of the month. But if we do three M's, it's just Jan, Feb, Mar, that kind of thing. Close parentheses and hit enter. Hey, fantastic. That's exactly what we want, except in direct query, you cannot get what you want. Not this way. Um, this format function is not available in direct query. So how are we going to make this work? Well, uh, it's a little funky, but it certainly does work. So I'm going to start by right-clicking here and just deleting this column. Don't need it anymore. So we're going to say, oh, no, that doesn't work. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to start step by step. We're going to start by getting the month number. So I'm going to add a new column, click on new column, and it's going to be month num, and we're going to use the month function. Month takes a date and returns, well, the number of the month. What date? Open open braces, or open brackets, and dates right, so I'm going to hit tab, space, close parentheses, go to the date and get the month from it. Okay, January is month one, February is month two, March is month three, hey, that's perfect. So now that we've got the month number, we're going to do something really funky that really works. So we're going to go up here and hit new column. And this is going to be month label, right? And uh, the, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use the mid function. Mid function takes a text string, uh, starts somewhere in that text string, and pulls a certain number of characters out of it. OK, well, I'm not going to show you the text string yet. I'm just going to leave it blank for right now. And we're going to say, well, what starting position? Well, let's not worry about that too much yet. Let's just say that we know that we're going to pull three characters out of this text string, OK? Jan, Feb, Mar, all of those are three characters, OK? And so the, the text string that we're going to pull from is uh, start with whatever two characters you want. It doesn't really matter which ones. I'm just going to do XX. And then I'm going to do Jan, Feb, Mar, April, May, June, Jul, Aug, Sep, Nov, deck, right? There we go. Now we've got all the months, all right? So now, uh, where do we start pulling? Well, all we have to do is uh, open bracket. We're going to get the month number. We're just going to multiply that by three, right? So think about this, okay? Think about this for just a second. For the first month, it's going to say, all right, month number times three. One times three is, well, three. So one, two, three. Oh, start at the J and Jan. How many characters do I pull? Three. Okay, J-A-N. Hey, great, I got January. Let's look at the second month. Second month is two, right? Month number is two. Two times three is six. So we go one, two, three, four, five, or I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. We end on the F in Feb, and we pull those three characters, right? And so on and so forth. So now we go ahead and just hit Enter. And boom, now we've got a month label, right? And we can uh, concatenate this with uh, other columns if we so are so inclined, or we can just leave it as is. Uh, uh, but, you know, um, previously I thought this was sort of undoable in, in direct query mode, because direct query mode is very limiting in Power BI. But here, we found a way to do it. Okay. Well, uh, I hope that was easy. I hope that was interesting. I certainly found it interesting. And I will see you next video.